Hey everybody, Brett Hurst back with Two Minute Drill. I'm here with my fellow pastor, Dan Akins. Dan, you have been uh, particularly involved in the world of evangelism. And I'm, I'm curious what you're finding are the biggest impediments to evangelism in today's culture, as if there weren't yeah. enough already to start with. Yeah, um, I mean, not to be trite, but I think biggest impediment is that Christians, we're just not doing it. We're not sharing our faith. We're fearful. We're, yeah. Oh, well, there's, I mean, whole host of reasons why, maybe. And, but it's easy to say, oh, we're not just doing it. You need to go do it. But the reality is if you, you try to encourage people to do it like that, that's not going to happen. It's not helpful. And so for me, like my, my journey toward becoming uh, someone who does evangelism more regularly started with me in college just trying to figure out what is the gospel? What is the good news of Jesus? And what does it mean? What does it mean? And how do I even describe it to somebody if they were to ask me? And so I had to go back and start reading the Bible. And I had to start reading other people describe it or talk to people. Um, another thing was that I found myself, after years and years of being a Christian, that all of my friends were Christians. I can't tell someone about Jesus who doesn't know Jesus if I'm not talking to someone who doesn't know Jesus. So actually getting out and meeting people who aren't Christians intentionally. And then another one was um, just helping myself get over that discomfort mm -hmm. of sharing Jesus and realizing, oh, people don't like run away from me if I mention Jesus. And sometimes the conversations are awkward. Sometimes they're really fun. Sometimes they're actually willing to engage. Most of the time people are willing to engage if it's if you bring up Jesus in, in a winsome kind of fun way, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think the biggest impediment is that we're not doing it. Yeah, obviously it matters. So it's something we need to lean into and figure out the answers to these questions. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it matters. Like it, it's the heart of God mm -hmm. that, he, that all people know Jesus. And he's invited us into that. And so when we get to know the gospel and we start experiencing like the love and the grace of God in our lives every day, mm -hmm. then we're much more likely to tell people about it. And uh, that was definitely my case that I needed to experience Jesus more mm -hmm. in order to be able to share him. And for me personally, I find that when I intentionally pray for opportunities, those opportunities will from time to time manifest themselves in pretty extraordinary ways. Yeah, that's a prayer that God's going to answer. You know, it's give me an yeah, give me an opportunity to tell people about you. That's the kind of thing that God wants to do, and it's the kind of thing that He's intentionally inviting His people into. You know, we get to be part of someone becoming a Christian, and how cool is that? Yeah, there's nothing greater. No. Yeah. Well, that's great. I really appreciate you sharing insights of the lay of the land on evangelism right now. Well, that's it for two minute drill. We'll see you next time.